how to solve this exponential problem this is n to the power of 3 and this equals 8 we are solving for the value of n that satisfies this equation so out my n power 3 here equals this 8 I can express it as 2 to the power of 3 remember 2 to the power of 3 is 8 that is 2 times 2 times 2 so what I do next is to move this over here of n power 3 this becomes minus 2 power 3 and this equals 0 so let's expand this using this identity if you have b power 3 minus b power 3 this equals a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b power 2 and our a is n while p is 2 so we applying that here we have n minus 2 times n squared plus n times 2 plus 2 power 2 and this equals 0 from here we have n minus 2 times n squared plus 2 n plus 4 this equals 0 let's equate each of these to 0 we have n minus 2 equals 0 we have n squared plus 2 n plus 4 equals 0 now to solve each of these equations here, this is a linear equation, well this is a quadratic equation, so let's solve this linear equation. I simply have n equals 2 here, moving this over here. This is my n1, this is the first solution. Now solving for the other values of n, we need to solve this quadratic equation. And let's solve this using the formula method. I have n equals negative b plus or minus square root of a squared minus 4 times ac divided by 2 times a now from here this will be called coefficient and the coefficient of n squared here is 1 that is my a the coefficient of n here is 2 that is my b and this is c that is my constant there so what I can do is to insert these values for a, b and c I have negative b negative 2 plus or minus square root of b squared 2 power 2 minus 4 times a that is 1 times c that is 4 divided by 2 times 1 from here of n equals negative 2 plus or minus square root of this is 4 minus this is 16 divided by 2 so from here, I have n equals negative 2 plus a minus square root of this 4 minus 66 so negative 12 divided by 2. So from here, I have n equals negative 2 plus a minus this minus here. A square root of negative 1 times square root of 12 divided by 2. So from here, I have n equals negative 2 plus a minus square root of negative 1 is i of i times square root of 12 I can have it as 4 times 3 divided by 2 so from here I have n equals negative 2 plus or minus i times a square root of 4 times square root of 3 divided by 2 so from here of n equals negative 2 plus or minus i times square root of 4 2 root 3 then we have divided by 2 2 eliminates 2 eliminates 2 so from here I have n equals this is negative 4 plus or minus i root 3 I have two complex values for n of n equals negative 4 plus i root 3 that is my n2 and I have n3 equals negative 1 minus i root 3 so we have two complex values for n and one real value for n which is 2 here we can check if you want to half n power 3 equals 8 and my n equals 2 meaning if you have 2 power 3 this equals 8 and 2 power 3 
this is two times two times two equals eight. This is four, this is eight, and this equals eight. That has satisfied the equation, guys. So this is it. This is how you solve it. Two complex solutions and one real solution, making it three solutions because we have power three here. That is it. Thank you and goodbye.